Hi, it's Chris Crocker here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. It is Thursday. Oh gosh, the weekend is starting to come into focus. <sighs> um, and let's talk about the weather because before we get to the weekend, we may have a shower or thunderstorm to talk about. Showers and thunderstorms possible on Friday. I'll show you the computer model in just a moment. A few showers possible on Saturday, primarily south of Spokane. However, as I have mentioned before right here, if, if the Armed Forces Torchlight Parade is involved, I'm always going to lean toward the chance of showers because that is just, I have been burned before. Warmer this weekend, but even warmer next week. I'm pretty excited to show you the seven-day forecast. Let's start off, though, talking about cooler weather and a frost advisory in effect for the Palouse for tonight. Um, so if you're down there on the Palouse and have some tender plants, uh, give them a little TLC before bed tonight. What's going on is we are on the western edge of an upper level upper level trough uh, that gives us that northerly flow keeping things cool keeping things unsettled for another day tomorrow now I'm gonna take the forecast radar all the way through the Armed Forces torchlight parade Saturday night um, so you can see what I've been seeing now we do have a few hit and miss showers around the region this evening and that could continue right on up until midnight. Let's take a look here. Um, and then we go through to tomorrow noon with another round of showers and possible thunderstorms. This is noon Friday. That is gonna continue through the evening. Um, here's six o'clock Friday evening right on through part of the overnight <laughs> and then into Saturday morning dry mostly cloudy skies around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene but then just a few hit and miss showers popping up in the afternoon and it, this computer model keeps the lilac parade dry the armed forces torchlight lilac festival parade dry but it is worth mentioning that there are some showers around the neighborhood so it's not a lucky parade when it comes to weather in my opinion i should probably look at the actual statistics before i start making those blanket statements that is not a scientific observation that is a gut instinct overnight lows tonight. Uh, we'll be right around 40 degrees around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, but you'll notice down in Pullman, 36, and that is where the frost advisory is. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the 50s and 60s, still running about 10 degrees below average, but not for long. Let's take a look at the warmer weather ahead. Um, Saturday, a slight chance of showers and better storms. <laughs> High temperature of 63 degrees. That graphic makes it look a lot more ominous than it is, but I am not taking any chances. Look at Sunday, sunny and 67. That is tea time weather. Uh, Monday, nice, pretty nice on Tuesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday, look what happens high temperatures in the 70s and that will be a record uh, for the latest we've ever had our first 70 degree day actually we'll break that record on the 20 well we'll tie it on the 21st break it on the 22nd so we'll break it this weekend and uh, looks like we'll set the new record sometime the middle of next week Wednesday or Thursday excuse me we are also a week late for the average date of our first 80 degree day. Actually, I may have that graphic here. Let me see. Oh, I'm stealing Matt's graphic. This is Matt's. He's doing a whole story about this tonight at six. If you're watching this after six, which you clearly are, um, it'll be on kxoy.com. He's looking not only at this record, but also at the forecast for June spoiler alert don't um, you know get out your flip-flops and tank tops just yet 
Uh, um, but May 12th is the average day of our first 80 degree day. And the warmest we have been is 69 and we only did that once. June 22nd is the record for our first 80 degree day. Who knows? We could just be setting all kinds of cool weather records, which uh, I would not have anticipated um, at the beginning of this spring. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a super day. Tomorrow is Friday, and I will see you back here then. <laughs> Thanks for watching.